this very dumpster right here is where it happened. It was back here, digging around back here, looking for, you know, one thing or another for people to throw away, a little scrap of food, you know. And um, I noticed that old Wolf was up there, you know, and he was acting kind of funny, you know, walking around and around, the, 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 you know, I wonder what could it be? Uh, and uh, so I figured it must be something in there really good, you know, because he's just really excited. And yeah. so, well, you know, I can't get any closer to it. Because it's, it, it, it's, you know, I haven't been back here since the day that happened. Uh, yeah. That's how much it's changed my life. But anyway, I reached over in there and, uh, you know, digging around in there. It just wasn't much, you know, that I could see. And then I saw what looked like a, a, a wick. You know, I figured, well, one of these stores here, the Dollar Tree or something, and, you know, thrown out a lady's wig. And uh, and I grabbed a hold of that thing and pulled that up, and it was a human head. And uh, Old Wolf was just jumping up and down, going crazy. I want, did I fail to mention he's a dog? Old Wolf's a dog. Jumping up and, and I was holding on to that head and before I just realized what I had a hold of and dropped it. And oh my God. It was horrible. Uh, it was in the news and everything. Was it really? Yes, a, yes. A severed human head? A severed human head. And what it was, come to find out, it was a Fort Hood soldier. <laughs> oh come back from the Iraqi war. Uh, and uh, he cut off his wife's head up there in Killeen. I don't know why he drove, drove all the way down here to throw away her head in the dumpster, but that's what he did. Maybe uh, he was trying to. And, uh, uh, you know, sons of bitches are crazy. So you know, they, they, they come back from that war, and, and, and you know, uh, there's no telling what they're going to do. Cut the wife's head off, or you know. Well, anyway, <laughs> uh, I did. You know, we. I had to tell somebody. I had to be a responsible citizen of the world. So uh, I went into, you know, one of these stores. I said, there's a goddamn head in the dumpster. <clears throat> and, uh, well, uh, finally, you know, they, they thought, well, we'll have to check it out. <laughs> Imagine their surprise when there was a head in the dumpster. <laughs> uh, but goddamn, what a day. Well. It changed my life because, man, I never wanted to dig in a dumpster again after that. It's like PTSD, post-traumatic stress syndrome, yeah. you know, not, which I have. You know, I, not bad enough to cut somebody's head off and throw it in a dumpster. <laughs> but I have that, you know, uh, from finding a head in the dumpster. You know, I see it in my dreams. I see that head, that woman's head, that woman's head, that woman's head. That woman's head, and I, and I just am just so sure that if I was to walk up there right now, that that's what I'd see. I'm not going to see it, so it's going to kind of ease back from it, you know. And well, I'm going to look in there. But, but, but now, you, well, you can be my guest. I'll just stand back here.